Are you tired of paying high prices for produce? Now somebody asked me about this, my NFT, kind of an NFT, not a true one. Nutrient film technique just means there's a thin film flowing in, in the bottom. I've got four inch pipe and it's about half full up. So it's not really a nutrient film, but that's what I call it, NFT system. Basically, if you want to grow a bunch of greens like this right outside your back door, I mean, wouldn't you love that instead of having a kale, you know, rotting in your refrigerator and ending up in a compost pile, just have it out here, come out here, pick what you need whenever you want it and leave the rest growing. It's awesome. But let's take a look at the system really quick. It starts with a little tote I got from Home Depot. Uh, what's that about $15 there's a pump in there I got from Amazon for $25 and a little piece of tubing and the actual system up here is made out of four inch pipe PVC pipe and all I did was cap off one end run it down to the other end let's go down here put a 90 on it a little small piece to give it room in between you can make that as wide as you want and another 90 and then it runs all the way back down to the other side and then we have another 90 going down and it goes into the reservoir so if you can hear that now if you can hear that that's the uh, water's kind of bubbling as it lands down in there now this thing just keeps recirculating like it that I keep this one running 24 hours a day. Now the way we've got it so the water flows from one end to the other is I set up these saw horses, level them out, and up on this side I took two pieces of two by four, so it's three inches up, and put it on this side only that side over there is sitting right on the seahorse seahorse on the sawhorse so that one is three inches lower than this side and then all the way down on this end i just put one piece of two by four all the way across the whole thing and then on this side i just stick a little bit of a pool noodle of course right just to hold this side up just a little higher so that's how we got it so that it goes all the way back down to the other end. And nice and easy, I just took that irrigation thing and just stuck it in one of the holes here. Of course, we're holding it in place with a pool noodle. So nice and easy. And look at that. Loads and loads of kale. Now you've seen in one of my older videos, the pump went off and I was out of town so everything died. So I have to keep an eye on it, but since we were home a lot this year, I was able to do this again. You can, if you want to put some money into it, have backup pumps and alarm systems so that once it, you know, the pump goes off, it sets off an alarm. But I'm not getting into all of that. Like I said, I want to try and keep it as cheap and as easy as possible. So a system like this, let's see, I put a pump, $25 from Amazon. The tote was 15 or 20 bucks. Each one of these, the price has gone up. I think they're about $15 a piece now. So there's two pieces of that. The three elbows are about $5 a piece. So what do we got? 15, 15, 15. So for all of these, 45 and that little end cap there, 50, the pump, the tote. So you're talking about less than 100 bucks, right around 100 bucks once you get couple of plants and throw you some nutrients in there so for about a hundred bucks you have your system set up like this and right now that's not quite 10 feet because I cut a piece off one of them to come back down into there and I took the other piece and I used it for this little section in between here alrighty y'all get out there go grow something you got any questions, just ask me down in the comments. Keep on growing. So